there he is. Oh, there he is too. There's another one. And I know you're probably sitting there on the couch or more than likely on the toilet watching this right now. And that makes you want to get up and, and go catch a bass, doesn't it? Woo! Today, we're going to be talking and fishing everyone's favorite bait, the frog. So let's get to it. Now, if you look up ahead of me here, I'm kind of fishing a mix of chopped up grass and lily pads. And amongst these lily pads, you can see these little chopped up grass mats. Now, I don't know where the bass are going to be. I, you know, I'm trying to figure out where they're gonna be. And one of the first things that I'm gonna do when I'm fishing this frog is I'm really just gonna reel the thing across these mats. You know, like I don't really waste a whole lot of time trying to work these baits real slowly until I know that I'm around some fish. So I'm gonna cast that bait out just like this. And I'm literally just reeling this thing across the surface. Like every now and then I might twitch it. If I come to the hole, I might kind of pause it for a minute but I'm really kind of in search mode and I'm literally just casting this thing out and reeling it across the top. I think a lot of guys might waste too much time really just working this frog extremely slow. And a lot of times they're working it really slow in an area that they don't even know if bass exist. So I think when you're first trying to locate bass, work that bait pretty fast pretty fast. I mean, cast it out there, reel it in. If you get bit, then you can start to slow down. But until then, just, just cover some water, reel that bait fast, and wait for a bite. Another big thing that you might be able to tell that I'm doing here is I'm really casting a long ways up into those pads right now. And those, I mean, these bass could be anywhere. I would kind of expect them to be kind of more towards the edge because on the edge here is where you have a little bit more matted vegetation. So that's probably where they're going to be. But at the same time, those pads are thick enough that they could just be anywhere in there. But a lot of times you will find a pattern where the bass are. You might find that every bite you get is way far back in there or every bite that you get is right on the edge. But really, until you start getting bit, you just kind of have to experiment and try to figure out where they are. Now, the big thing that I have seen a lot is that pressure will impact where these fish are. There'll be times where you're catching a lot of fish on the edge, but then you might be, you know, for instance, in a tournament where a lot of guys are fishing the edge as well, and those fish will actually get pushed further back into the cover because of all that pressure. So where they are located can change throughout the day and you just have to be kind of ready for that. Just had a bite. Oh, he's trying to get it. He's trying to get it. There's a bass right there trying to get it. Something that's always good to keep with you when you're frogging is a flipping setup as well. Cause sometimes they'll miss that frog and you'll pitch back in and you can get them flipping. Oh, there he is too. Come on, baby. Just like that. Come on, baby. It's a good one. Oh, let's go, baby. There we go. That is a good one right there. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. But that's a perfect one two punch, guys. Like, literally, punch. But look at that fish. Gosh, is that not beautiful? I just love it so much. Just a real solid one right there. You know, I caught that fish with a punching setup, but I found him with the frog. And I cannot tell you how many times I've done that before. That fish came up there and he was trying to eat this frog. He tried to hit it twice, but that stuff is so thick up there. He really couldn't get up to it. And so I had a punching setup ready to go. I flipped it in there and literally just yo-yoed it and he came over. So one, one big thing, anytime you're frogging, keep that punch set up ready to go. This video is brought to you by the Deep Dive app. This is an app that you can download on your phone that helps you to find and catch bass a lot quicker. Once you get to the body of water that you are fishing, you can actually select that lake. Then you can input data 
felt like water temperature, water clarity, whether you're fishing around a vegetation or not, or if you are fishing in a windy or protected area. The app will then spit out some locations, some strategies, and some lures that you can use to start attacking the body of water you are fishing. There is a 100% free version and there is a paid version. And if this interests you, there's a link down below in the description and you can download it right now. Now, one of the biggest things that I have found out pretty much across the country, anytime that you are fishing vegetation like this, if you get one bite, I mean, put the brakes on and really pick that area apart. See, I just saw, I just saw something move right there. That's exactly what I'm talking about. A lot of times these fish will be in a very small group. This is when I'm gonna start to slow this frog down, really work it really slowly through this area because there might be a whole little cluster of bass that are just in this small section. And it might be a big section, they might be all throughout here. But a lot of times it's, it's a 20, it's a 30 yard stretch where these fish are sitting. So now that I got bit, I'm really gonna work this area, you know, for probably 15 minutes really diligently. Sure would love to get another one. That was a, that's a nice fish. Ooh, look, there's one under it. There's one under it. Come on, baby. Gosh, it is so thick up there. Gosh, come on. Sometimes they'll follow it. Let's try it again. That looked like another good one, judging by the, the wake he just put off. Definitely may have found a little cluster of them. Doesn't look like I'm gonna get this one to bite, but I mean that that could have very that fish could have very well he may have followed it though so I'm gonna work this out a little bit. You know one thing that I can hear I don't know if the the mics are picking that up or not but there's a lot of bluegill that are snapping and popping the surface right now. They're a lot of times what they do is they're eating little bugs that are on. Oh god! Oh my gosh! Did you see that? What the heck? Dude, that fish, I wonder if he had the tails. He crushed that thing. And then he was sitting there with it. Oh my gosh. Guys, I mean, this is exactly what I'm talking about. We've, we've had three bites literally within like 10 minutes. There's always little, oh, he got it. Did he get it? Oh, he's there. He's on it. He missed it. Oh, I, come on, come back. That stuff is so thick. They keep popping the underside of the pads and it's popping the bait up. There he is. Gosh, it's a big one. Come on. Oh, come on. Oh no, he came off. No, he didn't. There we go, guys. Oh, there we go. Gosh. Yeah, I crushed it. Oh my gosh. That is what frogging is all about. Look at that. Gosh, that's a lot of fun. I know you're probably sitting there on the couch or more than likely on the toilet watching this right now. And that makes you want to get up and, and go catch a bass, doesn't it? Woo, that was fun. I'm going to let that guy go. Let's get another one, baby. You know, I'm sure that I could come through here and and flip and pitch a lot of this stuff with the Texas rig, but it just, I mean, it would take me five years to fish all this stuff. So that's why fishing this frog is just so effective. And like I showed you earlier, sometimes you can actually, you find them with the frog and then you can flip on them with your Texas rig and catch them or you catch them on the frog. I mean, so it's just a great way to co cover water effectively and catch you a lot of bass. There's another one. Gosh, way up in there. Come on. Get him out, get him out. There we go, baby. Golly, did you see how far up that fish was? Not a big one, but man, look how good he got that thing. I mean, just got it good. There's really no other way to get him out of there besides that frog. Man, that was sweet though. Gosh. 
Well guys, I hope that you enjoyed fishing out here. I know that I did. Frogging, flipping, it's a one-two punch. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. We're gonna be bringing you a lot of content. I'll see you guys in the next video.